For the shoppers here at Publix, the first day back at their neighborhood grocery store was both a sad reminder of the tragic shooting that left a toddler and his grandmother dead, but also a way to show that they will not live in fear. Shoppers went in and out of the Publix throughout the day, but the growing memorial out front was not the only thing different about the store on Saturday. You see how the energy has been drained from this place. You know, it's a lot of heavy energy in there. Um, this is a town that, you know, you wouldn't think anything like this would really ever occur. I feel very sad about this because I have grandkids that I bring to the store. <laughs> I could have been here. That could have been me and my son. My, my beautiful stepdaughter right here. And then you just think back, was he here when I was here? How many times was he here? Could that have been me? walking in, walking in with my son on my hip. Shoppers like Liz Marley made it a point to return to the store with their children. That's the reason I came here today is just to be like, there's nothing wrong with the store. It's not the community. It's, we live in a great community. The sickness of one person can't control my entire life. As the investigation continues, detectives are still not sure how Wall got his gun. They say it was not registered to him. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw is also applauding the heroic efforts of the boy's grandmother because he says when she attacked Wall after he shot her grandson, she likely saved other lives. As you can see, the memorial had to be covered up because of the rain, but this collection of flowers, balloons, stuffed animals, and notes to the victims continues to grow as the community continues to grieve. Reporting in Royal Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.